Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snellus, where medicine makes perfect sense, continuing our anatomy playlist. In previous video, we had an introduction to arthrology, or the study of joints. Today, we'll talk about the first type of joint, which is fibrous joints, also known as synarthrosis. Osis means what? Condition. Arthro means joint. Syn means the same, because both bones are in direct contact with each other. There is no joint cavity, such as the sutures of your skull. Let's get started. Please try to watch the videos in this anatomy playlist in order. What's a joint? What's an arthro? It's an articulation between two bony surfaces, although Joe Rogan will have another definition for a joint. This picture illustrates a synovial joint, not a fibrous joint, because a fibrous joint does not have any cavity. Types of joints according to the nature of tissue between the articular bones, fibrous, cartilaginous, and synovial joints. The synovial joint has synovial fluid, and this synovial fluid will exist within the joint capsule and also spread to the bursae. Do you remember bones? Yeah, bones had many types depending on the classification. Based on the structure, we had compact and cancellous bones. Based on their shapes, we have long bones, short bones, flat bones, irregular bones, pneumatic bones, and sesamoid bones. Remember that your skull bones are flat bones, most of them ossified via intramembranous ossification. That's for bones. As for cartilages, they have three types, hyaline cartilages, fibrocartilage, and yellow or elastic cartilage. As for joints, we have fibrous joints, cartilaginous joints, and synovial joints. Fibrous joints are also known as synarthroses, same because they are fused together, Arthro joint osis condition. Bones are connected together by fibrous tissue, hence fibrous joint. Range of motion, there is no movement. How about a cavity between the two bones? There is no joint cavity. And we have three examples, the sutures of your skull, the interosseous membranes, and peg and socket fibrous joint in your teeth. The first one, sutures. Some of them are serrate, some of them are plain sutures, some of them are squamous sutures. The serrate ones will have this zigzag action. The margins have saw-like edges. A classic example is the sagittal suture of your skull. Next, plain suture. Both bones are simply fused together, nothing unique. An example here is the interpalatine suture of your skull. We'll talk about them later in head and neck anatomy. Third, squamous suture of the skull. The bony edges overlap. You'll find that this bony edge overlaps above the other, creating a squamous suture in between. Example, temporoparietal suture of the skull. Next, syndesmosis, osis condition, syn, synchrony or together, desmo, glue. Both bones are glued together via an interosseous membrane. Example is the interosseous membrane between the lower ends of your tibia and fibula. Third, gum fosis. Gum, remember gum, pig and socket of your teeth. Between them you'll find fibrous ligament, hence fibrous joint. Let's take it to the clinic. In pediatrics, there are two similar but not identical conditions. Cephalohematoma versus caput cicadanum. Cephalohematoma is hemorrhage or bleeding beneath the periosteum of the skull. But caput cicadanum is beneath the skin, i.e. superficial to the skull bones. If caput cicadanum is superficial to the skull bones, of course it will cross suture lines. However, cephalohematoma will not. To learn more about joint diseases, check out my rheumatology playlist here on YouTube. Applied anatomy is called surgery. Learn about trauma surgery, shock, orthopedic surgery, cardiothoracic surgery, ophthalmological surgery, and much more by downloading my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectsnetis.com. In the next video, we'll talk about cartilaginous joints. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard, 
This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.